Hello Taurus, welcome back to For Real Though Tarot. Today I will be doing your weekly reading. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. Please show your support by hitting a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Also check out my other weekly playlist. Let's get started. So I have the Eight of Swords, Four of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So for the Eight of Swords, some of you have been feeling trapped in this situation and you can get yourself out of the situation if you want to, okay? And some of you feel trapped in a relationship as well. This is for some of you. And you don't really want to be with this person anymore. Some of you have been with this person for a while. Or it's because you have a kid or kids together. And this is why you're hesitant and trying to decide on whether or not you should remain in this relationship and I'm also seeing that some of you could be married or engaged to this person that has you feeling trapped and then we have the four of cups for the four of cups someone is feeling frustrated and you've been taking your frustrations out all the people that surround you because you feel unfulfilled in your life career or if you're in a relationship you feel unfulfilled there this could also be someone not pulling their weight and they expect you to do everything for them and you're pretty much tired of their BS and you're just over it and it's frustrating you so we have the seven of wands All right, you grounded earth sign. Someone is hating on your success and you're unbothered by them. They can't stand the fact that you are still thriving. You've been focusing on getting rid of the leech that you've been wanting to break up with. So, you can focus more on your own self-worth. You would rather take care of yourself than to have someone use you because you're smart, talented, and a go-getter, and you have your shit together. So, this person that you no longer want to be with has you feeling trapped. This person is using you. So, I have the Queen of Cups. So with this Queen of Cups, you're intuitive. You already know that this person is just in your life for what they can get from you. Most Tauruses that I know plan ahead and you're smart thinkers. You're usually one step ahead. So I have this King of Pentacles. So for this King of Pentacles, some of you are very loving and you're also a given person. People often take your kindness for a weakness. Some of you manifested a wealthy life for yourself and you have abundance. Your manifestations came true. Now I see why this person is using you. They see you as a person that has a lot to offer them because you live in an abundant life. You have a nice car and you own your own home. Be pleased. This ain't no charity. This person needs to get out and get their own. I see why you're frustrated and wanted to drop them off at the bus station and chunk the deuces. Because this person is clearly using you. You're feeling trapped in this situation. You're worrying about what's going to happen. You know, what is this person going to do once you let them go? Because it's not working out. 
So we have the Nine of Cups, the Moon card in reverse, and the Ten of Cups. So with this Nine of Cups, I'm seeing that someone or something is trying to prevent you from reaching your goals. Be careful. They're trying to find a way to trap you. Here's the reason why we have this Eight of Swords and you're feeling trapped. Um, they might try to trap you with a pregnancy or lie about having some type of health issue that prevents them from leaving. And this could also be this person that's using you. They're trying to stop you from putting them out. They've been coming up with every excuse in the book to why they can't get their shit together. And just the frustrations with why. The constant arguing over why this person is just laying around not doing anything. Although you have everything that you want, you have an abundant life. You got your career together. You own your own everything. You're still the type of person that is just not here for the BS. You don't want anyone laying up on you. You really don't appreciate that, okay? And no one would. So we have the moon card in reverse. Someone is having a lot of anxiety and fear. Someone is deceiving you. I see that some of you are struggling to face the truth about something. And someone is also keeping a secret from you. This is why you have the Queen of Cups that's telling you that your intuitions are right. Because you already suspect that someone is lying to you about something. The Moon card in any reading means that something is not as it seems okay so basically you're being de deceived when you see the moon card with this four of cups in your reading it also relates to this moon card in reverse the person that's using you you're in love with them and you're afraid to let them go and you're having a hard time facing reality in this situation something tells me that you expected things to get better and they're not going to get any better when someone shows you who they are believe them the first time you're starting to have a better understanding of how this impacts your life the moon card in reverse is telling you that you realize that you're unhappy in this relationship or situation and you must exit stage left in the words of fantasia go ahead and free yourself from this burden with him okay him or she whoever this person may be male or female okay so we have the ten of cups someone is seeking harmony in their life and or in a relationship stop taking your happiness for granted because you deserve happiness because the Four of Cups already told us that you're unhappy. The Ten of Cups is reminding you that the happiness you see is achievable. All you have to do is believe in yourself. And get rid of this person that's leeching off of you. That wants to live rent free in your home. Because they see that you have money and you're successful. We have wedding children. Okay, so this situation involves marriage. So this could be a person that you're married to. As I stated before, I'm seeing that this could be a person that you are married to, engaged to, or have children with. And I see the children card is saying that your love life is being affected by children. So this situation, you want to leave this person as 
hindering you because you may have children with this person for those of you that do have children with this person then we have you deserve love you are lovable okay so this card is telling you that you deserve love you deserve to be treated better than what this person is treating you okay Taurus that is the end of your weekly reading thanks for listening please subscribe to my channel and like this video by giving it a thumbs up support my channel by hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and i will see you on your next reading bye now